Hello everyone, it's Andrikas here and today we are discussing a few ways to make some decent gold out of Mage Tower. But before we do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. In case you don't know what is the Mage Tower, it's basically one of the hardest solo challenges implemented back in Legion and with the Legion time working being available since 9.1.5 Mage Tower has opened once again. Ok, so while I was filming this, Blizzard decided to remove the Mage Tower from the Legion Time working rotation and leave it open 24-7. I mean, that's fantastic news, really. People probably will be very happy with this change. By defeating the final boss, you can get the tier 20 Recaro set for the class you completed the challenge with. And if you manage to complete all of the 7 unique challenges, you will be rewarded with the magnificent Book Mount. Once you have entered the Mage Tower, all of your gear will be scaled down to item level 50. And you get stripped from all of your legendary powers, soul buying, conduits, tier set and so on but you can wear lower eye level crafted pvp gear and apply some really powerful legacy enchants and gems on them. This is what we're gonna focus on, so we'll start preparing and be able to sell them when the mage tower becomes available, which is pretty soon. We're gonna start with the crafted pvp gear from the Pandaria expansion. You want to have any of the three gearing professions, so blacksmithing, leatherworking and tailoring. To craft these pieces, simply visit your faction hub in Vale of Eternal Blossoms and learn these from your profession trainer. Easy peasy, right? Then you must seek to learn the special material craft for each profession. This special craft has a daily cooldown and crafting it teaches you a random pattern of PvP gear. It will probably take you a couple of weeks to learn all of the patterns if you do this on a daily basis. Now we will go through each profession and see what you need to do exactly. Ok, for blacksmithing, you need to head down to Isle of Thunder and kill Itoka to get the lightning steel ingot. It requires 10 ghost iron bars, these come from smelting the respective ore, and by crafting this you will be rewarded with a random pattern of PvP plate gear. Then you can apply an optional reagent to increase its item level up to 48 or 54, depending on what relic you are using. The reason many guides recommend some pieces to be only 48 item level, so below the threshold of mage tower scaling, it's because there are some really strong enchants you can add to them from older expansions. Now for leather working, you will have to farm the Wyrmhorn Turtles in the Valley of the Four Winds, to obtain the Pardon's Magnificence of Leather and Magnificence of Scales. These two share the same cooldown, so whatever you choose, you will get a random leather or male gladiator dreadful gear. I usually buy the reagents from the auction house, but you can farm them if you prefer. Crafting either of them will give you one magnificent height, and you can use it to craft one item of PvP gear. And last but not least, for tailoring you have to level up your Pandaria tailoring up to 25 and then seek out Silk Master Tsai in Valley of the Four Winds to learn Imperial Silk. This requires Wind Will Cloth, the same goes for the patterns you will learn. You can also use the Celestial Cloth, the pattern for this drops from any Moby Pandaria for a tailor. I usually craft the relics of the past from the tailoring profession because I have so many wind wool, so it's uh, really efficient for me. But you can also craft them from other professions as well, or you can buy them from the auction house, but I don't really recommend it. They're probably too overpriced. Alrighty, that's it guys, I will probably make more of a Mage Tower Gold Guides in the near future. So stay tuned and don't forget to drop a like or a comment if you found this video helpful. Also I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and uh, have an awesome day, good luck with whatever you're doing and I'll see you in the next one, bye!